So our penultimate um, presentation will be from Catherine Siriram, and her project is entitled Government Initiatives to Promote Energy Efficiency and Renewable Energy in Trinidad and Tobago, Lessons from the Australian Experience. So please welcome Catherine to the stage. Hi, good afternoon everyone. Trinidad and Tobago is a small, energy-rich country in the Caribbean where oil and natural gas have been the main drivers of economic growth and development for over 100 years. Now, despite being the Caribbean being displayed in movies as a place where we sit on beaches all day drinking rum, Trinidad and Tobago is actually one of the highest energy consumers per capita globally. This is attributed to industrial processing, petrochemical manufacturing, and power generation. It is also fueled by the low electricity and fuel prices which have been set by the Trinidad and Tobago government. Our high levels of energy consumption, however, have not translated into high levels of socioeconomic development, meaning that a percentage of the population still lives below the poverty line and has minimal access to electricity, proper health care, and education. Our high energy consumption levels have also resulted in Trinidad and Tobago being ranked the second highest emitter of carbon dioxide per capita as of 2012. Now being a small island development state, Trinidad and Tobago is vulnerable to the effects of climate change, particularly sea level rise, as many of the industrial estates are located on the coastline. Because of these problems, Trinidad and Tobago should ideally attempt to reduce its fossil fuel consumption and its emissions through renewable energy use and energy efficiency. However, Trinidad and Tobago is struggling to determine how to diversify its energy mix away from fossil fuels. And as a result, the country is lagging behind many nations, both regionally in the Caribbean as well as internationally. However, Trinidad and Tobago can learn from the Australian experience, as Australia has achieved successful renewable energy penetration in its markets, it has achieved substantial energy savings and reduced its emissions through the implementation of more than 300 various policy measures and initiatives. Trinidad and Tobago can learn valuable lessons in designing its own small-scale versions of some of these Australian initiatives by analyzing reasons for their success and failure and adapting this to local conditions in the Caribbean. The conclusion drawn at the end of this analysis, taking into account Trinidad's a preference for citizen policies, as well as the Australian experience, is that energy efficiency mechanisms, particularly standards and regulations, as well as increasing public awareness and education, are the best short to medium term options, as they appear to be the most practical, readily implementable, and least costly approach, which can achieve immediate results in Trinidad and Tobago, and can be used as stepping stones for future widespread renewable energy use in Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you. For any further, any further questions or travel advice on the Caribbean, come find me later. <laughs> Thank you.